guys. Welcome, jury. Thank you so much for coming today to the campus of the Hungarian Dance University. And competitors, thank you so much for coming. I'm sorry you didn't get through, but as you know, the experience you take from each event you participate in is what will make you grow and make you move on in life. So that's why we're very happy to introduce this event where Meet the Jury happens through questions and uh, some answers about what is important for a jury in some such competition and uh, how to improve and uh, go on and prepare uh, for a better outcome. Uh, so that's why, first of all, I would like to ask the jury, um, maybe each one of you could, we could go through, what's your overall experience until now and uh, how do you view the previous rounds? If we could, yes. Yes. Hello. Uh, um, yeah, well, anyway, congratulations that you came here, right? And you took part. It is, it's already, I mean, it's like cliche to say everybody's a winner, but it, in fact it is. Because it's a positive experience. I know everybody wants to win. Uh, but um, I think most important in life to have a realistic idea about your weaknesses. And uh, it never stops improving. I just was saying actually to, to my colleague, somebody once when I finished school said, oh, you, you don't learn anything about after 25 years old. And I didn't stop learning until I stopped dancing and when I was 40. You learn every day and improve. And some dancers, like Balanchine said, uh, dancers like flowers, they blossom at different times of the year than blossom like artists at different times of their career. Some already ready when they 16, can be a, an artist and have some technique natural, but some uh, learn slower, so to say, and they will be at 25 or 30, maybe better artists than somebody who wasn't 16 and so, stop progressing. And sometimes, sometimes more talented people. I had that actually also, I'm Thomas, <laughs> and I have another classmate, was Thomas in my class. He was much more talented. And he went to Marinsky, and he uh, he was spoiled there, but he didn't want to dance, but he was very talented. But I wanted to dance, I was less talented. But I achieved more in my career, and became a dancer. But my my friend, he just lost somewhere in the, in the dance world, but because he has different ambitions. So talent is one thing, but what you do with it, how you invest in yourself, this is very important. And that you came and you saw different dancers, you have an experience, you strengthen yourself already being here, it makes you mentally stronger, and that, that you came here to listen and to deal with this, uh, so to say, that you not get through until the final, it's also make you stronger. And, and it's all positive experience, but it's not the happiest, but see the bright side, yes? Um, if I may, may briefly say on the general side, which, which I think we agree, we all agree, that we look at every detail, what you have. How clean is your point shoes? How, how tidy you are? Uh, do, you, do you put your tights into the point shoes? Or men, how you put, how you walk around ballerina? How you turn you at the back? We, we, we see everything. <laughs> uh, the general, for me, I would say, the weak feet, and maybe wrong choice of point shoes, maybe it's from teacher or something. For the girls, it's very important to have that. It's like, I very often I, I bring comparison with Formula One. The, for the car, it's most important, uh, one of the most important, the tires, which connect you with the road. And you have to have the right compound of the rubber, yeah, for for rain, for snow, for for sun, and this is your 
bread. So you have to have really good contact. You have to go through the demi point, ladies and gentlemen. This is what keeps you in balance and keeps you in contact with the ground, either to push off or to take you when you down when you land. So this is the most important for me. It's don't underestimate. You know, you can learn. You can lift your leg, kick your leg, jump high. But if you don't know how to land, how to not to drop arms when you land, find your center, find your position. Also, the cleanliness of the arms. So I saw quite not so many good arms, but your arms should be in front of you and never cross here, never go back. This is part of you. Use from diaphragm. I'm saying general things, that's, that's lots of things we can say individually to, to all of you. It will take days, <laughs> but, but generally, probably all teachers say the same thing, but listen, listen to all teachers and do your own uh, example. You have to be in the pose before you do the trick. You cannot start turning and pose comes after. You have to be in one, everything comes in one, and you dance on one, musicality. It's like you're not going da, you go da, it's already, the note is there, it's like orchestra. If, if one instrument and orchestra is delayed, it's mess. So you have to dance on and. It's like Balanchino really emphasized, one of the most musical choreographers emphasized. You have to start on and, and one is already pose or jump. Never be late. So things like that I would like to, to mention. and. Um, yeah, and landing, 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 like even take your, this is again the strength of your feet, your knees, your bum, everything, to hold you. And all the time, arms never go there in terms. So many, so many with so this. How can you do that? Again, the free neck, this is global. Use your, use your it helps, it helps to, to dance. You see this. Suddenly I become alive. You cannot spot, you cannot coordinate, you're stuck. You have to have a freedom, strength and the freedom and elongate everything. Anyway, I, I give general kind of corrections like that a little bit, but I give you my colleagues uh, to, to continue because I get too emotional, but I, I would like to, to, we can take individual and see, uh, I've also written notes, what and how to inspire you, but uh, please be inspired you came here, it means you, you're dancers, you want to dance and dance. Whatever your career take you, to which company or you become a teacher, doesn't matter, enjoy it, yeah? And if you enjoy something, you'll do it correctly. You found something you love in, in life, so treasure that. So, good luck and all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Uh, English is fine, yes? We didn't ask, yes? Everybody, great. So, uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, which I really would like to say, I am all agree with what uh, Thomas said. It's very important, all those informations, and, and once you're going back home and you're back in the studio, try to, try to use all those informations. But I would like to add something very shortly. I don't want to put the pull, it's so long. Um, I believe it's very important when you go on stage, especially in ballet competitions, you have, let's say, if you have a variation, two, set, two minutes you see to show who you are, what you can do. So during these two minutes you have to really so, uh, show your best what you have. So the time before when you prepare you know, the competition is very important, the technique. We, we like to jump over this, uh, this question, but if you don't have the technique, you cannot play because you are very much afraid, you know, how it will happen, you know, my soda bus or whatever, you know, jump. Or the music is the same thing, you know, if your technique is not there, then, you know, the music will, how to say, will go on and whatever happens, you know, you're trying to finish it, your technical issue, and it will not happen. And of course, you know, the audience can see it if you are not secure. You can imagine when somebody goes, you know, with a very spectacular, very technical uh, variation, and you know, most of you, they choose not always the best one, I would believe, uh, not the best number to dance. That's also very important, you know, to, to see realistically your level, your technical level, and choose, you know, the variation. Because I know the music is fantastic, or it's very demanding, or it's very incredible good, you know, to dance Donkey or Corsair, but I believe it's not, you know, if you cannot do it so well. Because then it turns out so, 
uncomfortable for you and very uncomfortable for me who are watching it. So I believe you know, if you choose something much easier, you know, but you can do it clean, clean technically. I'm not talking about you have to turn 120, you know, but if you turn nice three pivots clean, then I'm much more happy. And the lines, you know, and the feet, and the back, and, and a long line, you know, to, to, to tell. It's so much important, and that's what I call technique. And once you have it in the studio, very stable technique, doesn't mean you have it on stage. That's next step. And that's why it is so important, you know, to go to competition, to, to dance, you know, in school concerts, you know, as many, as, you know, the most you spend on stage, the best it is. Because that's where you can collect all the information, all the experience, all the whatever, you know. How's the light? How's the stage? It's so, so important. Because actually, we're planning, you know, to be on stage, not in studio. So that would be my advice, you know, spend more time on stage, as many as you can. Uh, back to the technical issues, you see, uh, it is very difficult, uh, as I said, you know, if you don't have the technique, you know, to act very nice. And we have, you know, also some scores, you know, to put some numbers, you know, like how's your acting. And, uh, and you know, then it's very much, you know, how to say, giving the wrong in the information about, you know, because maybe you are a fantastic actor, but why you cannot see it because you're scared. Although, if you have a, a good technique, you can play whatever. Plus, you can play with the music as well. You can be much more on music. And those things, you know, it comes together. And if you have all the three together, then it comes a miracle. Everybody is so happy. You go out the stage and you can't wait, you know, and you can go back one more time. That's, that's such a great feeling afterwards. Plus, I believe what Thomas said, absolutely right, you know, this is the profession, but you cannot do it just a little bit. You know, that is not really uh, possible to say, you know, somebody is, uh, I was dancing just a little bit. No. You do it or you don't do it. And that's, you know, the main message is if you go to the studio or if you, you are spending, I don't know, a couple of more years in the school or maybe the last one, you know, this is, you know, the best time, you know, when you can uh, learn, when you can take, you know, the, the last drop, the last information out of your student, uh, from your teachers. And then it comes, you know, the, the, the next life, which is also completely different. You learned a lot, but you have to learn even more, you know, when you uh, join into a company. But uh, all in all, I want to say, you know, uh, it's nice to see everybody on the competition. It's nice to, to learn. And don't give up, you know, if you had some, you know, uh, negative uh, experience. Absolutely not. This should make you stronger. You're going back one more time. Even in the studio, if you over and what's happened? One more time, one more time. Till, you know, it is not, not 100%, 120%. And then you feel confident and happy on stage. Best luck, guys. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you.
what I want to say is also, um, for me, first of all, there's the basics at the bar. We speak about technique. You have to go through it. It's not just a warming up thing. It's a thing to place, to place, to improve, to understand the right thing. Then uh, the, the working, I always compare it, if you work as a dancer or wherever, you want to go from this point to that point. But it goes like this. But on the end, it's up. It's not straight. It's with ups and downs, and you shouldn't forget that. Because you learn more for, from the downs than from the ups. Then, um, what for me is also very important is you have three different kinds of expression. You have a musical expression, you have a physical expression, and you have a facial expression. And it's not just dancing. You have to give the expression, the feeling, what the music sets you on. And the music can help you a lot in that. <coughs> and also, you cannot dance with all the time the same face. You have to smile on stage. Yes, it's not and dance the whole time like this. You have to smile, you can be sad. You, and you, you see it also in the body, you see everything. If you do a movement, it's not just an arm, it comes from inside. Um, so then also for me, what's important, it said before, the choice of the variations. What you can do. And I think, because many times, your teacher is choosing the variation for you. But you should speak with your teacher and say, I don't feel this variation, or I would prefer to do this. And you have to come together, because then on stage, you can also show what said before, the quality and not the quantity. I wanted to say that also because two pirouettes clean is much more nicer as six and falling off. Um, I think I'm a bit through of my my list now. Also, when when you when you're in the studio and you see yourself in the mirror, you have to see yourself. You have to work with your um, abilities and not see um, Osipova or don't see um, Vasiliev, you look at yourself. You have to correct yourself on what you see and that's the difficult thing. Not think you can do it. You have to really see and correct on that. And I give the word now to David. Sometimes to look at you from the different point of, uh, you know, on the TV, then you can say, oh, here, yeah, here is wrong, that is wrong, that is wrong. So you go, you correct it. Yes, you do your best. 
choice of variation, like uh, Tamas said, like uh, Thomas, uh, everyone, I think, mentioned, very important. If you cannot jump, you don't choose Kamsati variation. If you cannot turn, <clears throat> you don't choose variation with turns. If you have a beautiful line, choose the variation that shows that line. Perform. Being a dancer, uh, there are many ways of dancing. You can be, anybody can be a dancer. Street dancer, uh, rap dancer, rock and roll dancer. Um, but what makes a ballet dancer? A ballet dancer is not just a dancer. He's an artist. And to be an artist, you have to project on the stage. Artist is someone who takes you to a magical world. Yes, you need to project that. You need to be able to project any role. Yes, you can be angry on the stage, you can play a fairy, you can be um, I don't know, a positive or negative um, character. That's what the beauty of it is that you can change on the stage. And well, this is why I chose to be a dancer. Because I wanted to do certain things. Um, I think you really need to think when you work, how you work, the quality of work. I know that you want to do harder stuff, and you, I see some of you trying to do, again, yes, five, seven pirouettes, but they are not on the point, they are somewhere on the ear or on the nostril. It, it's unnecessary. Beautiful lines, simple pose. I think this is all that we're looking for. And projection, an artist. We want to see artists on the stage. It's hard. Because being a student, I, I remember of myself, I couldn't open up completely because uh, in a way I felt a little bit maybe intimidated, not only in competitions, everywhere, in the company, you know. Um, but I think that you will pass that point once you really concentrate on something um, that you love to do. You are in the ballet because you want to be a dancer, right? then be a dancer. Thank you very much. Hi guys, I know that could be a bittersweet moment right now, but let's concentrate on the sweet and not bitter. So there was a lot of wise things said right now. And uh, maybe what I could add is that how lucky we are to have beautiful instrument. It's very individual for everyone. So what I want to see when I'm watching a dancer, I want to see how they, how big the connection between you and your body is. So that's why I can, uh, I can say yes, you are connected with your body because it creates that intelligence. So how you communicate with First of all, your physicality, your muscles, so how that responds and what kind of results I see out of it. And um, what would be the idea is that it's not just a naked movement, it's not just a mechanical movement, because, well, you know, that's what Mountain do, that's the CISO, that's the whatever, you know. I'm not interested in seeing that, I'm interested in seeing meaning. So, the reason why you're doing that's the first thing, why you're doing dancing. So for me, to choose ballet was the only thing I remember I wanted to do since, you know, I, I was conscious about myself. And uh, it's very lucky to know what you want to do so much and so deep with everything you have. And hopefully many of you feel the same, but guys, Apart from hard physical work, what you should do if you constantly, you should self-educate. You have to um, heighten your standards constantly because ballet is the highest, is the peak of dance art form, classical ballet. So you will be learning that. So standards are incredibly high. So you don't reach those standards without being intelligent and intellectual human beings. So that's very important to do. Don't forget about it. So self-educate, uh, know about arts, um, 
as much as you can. And what what else could I add? Yeah, because about technical stuff we heard a lot. So maybe I'm speaking on about these these things because that will uh, advance you enormously. And um, have your reason clear for yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Because we don't want to see dancers who go on stage and do the sets of movements without connection with their heart, with their meaning, with their, their bodies. So I guess I said enough, and to me that would be the, the most important. So you get out of this, this. and uh, best of luck to you, and don't give up. And be sure that what you're doing is something that helps you to understand yourself better as human beings, as artists, and helps you to advance in understanding this life, what it's all about. Thank you. So everybody said uh, everything, actually. So, I mean, uh, before we were sitting, I, with the, these uh, <laughs> six students, and I was giving the speech already, whatever they said, so. Uh, what I think, uh, what she just said, uh, why did you start to dance? Why did you choose the ballet? You, I guess you must have loved, you wanted. And this feeling, later, by the time, by the years, you forget. So whenever you have a certain problem, hard time, think about the, uh, what, why you started it. Then you will think, uh, okay, you start again because every day is a new start. Today it works, the uh, good things. Tomorrow you wake up, you have to. St it doesn't work. Then you get depressed. Uh, it's a, it goes like, a, yeah, it goes like this. But when you work. It, you know, ballet is, uh, how I said it, very beautiful, but very difficult. You have to be truthful with yourself. You cannot lie. Sometimes, you know, you say, I work, I work. I work very hard. But yeah, everybody works very hard. But you have to be yourself truth. You really work for yourself, for the quality, not the, 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 the and everybody talked. So, I mean, I think uh, how they said, uh, okay, 100%? Sometimes for my case, was never enough 100%. You have to do 120%, 200%, then maybe might be coming something out of it. And also don't ever compete with other people. You are all different. Competition means, uh, okay, you come for the competition to learn, to have experience like everybody says so, to look what is happening in the world. But if you start to compete with the other person, you are not going to enjoy. You cannot uh, do, you cannot be truth with yourself and then you will become more nervous because you see other person is doing whatever, then you are too busy for other things. So be busy with yourself, how much you worked and so. And then I wish here more, uh, it's important maybe for the next time, the teacher should be here actually uh, together because uh, you are all young still and to give you the information. We can only give information. I'm sure the good teachers, you all have good teachers. It says the same thing. But also, you, it's another talent. If you listen, correction, you don't get the correct, you get the correction, and you forget the next day, this correction, that's also not good. So if you get the one correction, you, you work for it, you practice, and you make out of it, it's another big talent. So that there's many different categories of talent. So don't think just that you have the nice physique and that they, we said the, all the same, that they, they use your, the, the, the point, the toes should be like a finger. You have to feel everything is, it's connected. 
I'm sure the teacher will say the same thing. Who takes it? Who makes out of it? It's your own, in your hand. And then that brings a stage. Stage doesn't lie. That's what I was uh, talking with you guys. So, in, in, uh, enjoy your moment. The, we are not, uh, the, the jury and then the public, we are not there to scare you. You know, in the future, whenever you go on stage, just the in, it's, a, your, it's your moment, it's your stage, enjoy. Like what she said, there's people, sometimes you see they are angry. <laughs> They, they have enough, like, because they are, uh, they are not satisfied with what they are doing, but that's uh, you, uh, not the way how do you take these uh, amazing things. Right? You have to respect yourself, you have to respect the stage, and you have to respect the uh, public. And to do all this, you can only do a lot of uh, yeah, work. Work with the brain, work whatever they say, so all that. And at the end, you're gonna enjoy. If you enjoy, we're gonna enjoy. And please, the maybe teacher, two teacher came? Yeah, oh, mama? Mm. I wish you sometimes uh, the, the juries Next time, maybe the, the, the time to make with the teachers. Because how to give to you guys a very fresh, very, um, you can still solve a lot of uh, information, but it depends how they take you, how to ex explain. And it's uh, very important. So maybe for the next time, you can make that kind of a uh, sit meeting. And congratulations, and I hope that you all had something from this experience for the next step. It's a step by step. You cannot be from one to 10 suddenly. So it's a step by step, and don't be sad. It's, you always learn something out of it, and it was uh, nice to meet you. And good luck for the, your future, and be happy. And dancing is a beautiful thing, if you can that you can dance. To dance, it's from your heart, okay? But to, you have to have technique for to give the heart. Thank you very much. Five. Five, yeah, okay. Um, what I think is important also, that when you're all here with the others, you're creating a network now with all the other students from everywhere and that's also very important for your future. Yes. Um, can we have your email address? Thank you so much, uh, Jury, for your elaborate and detailed answers and beautiful thoughts. I think we all learned a lot from it. You answered almost all my uh, questions prepared. Uh, so I would like to give you the chance maybe if any of you have uh, any question, please um, let us know and we give you the... Yes. I know it's a bit scary and uh, they said almost everything, but yes, we have. Uh, hi, I'm Leo Kurno from the United States and uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for doing the competition with us. It was an amazing experience for me. Um, I just wanted to ask what kinds of uh, tips or suggestions do you have for finding and getting a career in dance or a job in dance? I'm the lucky one to answer. So, well, uh, I believe, uh, as I said, <coughs> whenever you go to the company first check and you have to know what you want first of all this is basic things you sit behind your computer and you are checking companies you know where I would like to go what uh, repertoire I would like to, to dance or what I would feel if I would be in that company I'm, I'm, this is my goal 
and you have a selection, A, B, C, D, whatever, and uh, then you have to uh, contact the company and uh, check you know, when is the company audition, what is the requirement, uh, there's a lot of points. And then the company will most probably will uh, answer you and uh, you attend on the, on the audition. And on the audition, as I said, it's the same like a competition. You have uh, two, three hours max, you know, to, to prove it why it's you who should be taken. That's very important. And uh, you go there, you know, in your best shape. And don't give up, you know, if you got a negative answer the first time. You really would like to, also the company should see, you know, you really would like to go there. I mean, it's not just, you know, I'm arrived, you know, and where is my contract? Very rare it happens like this, I tell you honestly. But if they can see you really would like to go, maybe the second time, maybe the third time, you know, if you work out, you know, uh, your audition. And then, you know, when you get into the company, also to, to, to see how you integrate how quick you learn, how you can take you know, all the company regulation, how, how the, you know, the company can rely on you, so many things. But I believe you know, the school gives you a very good itinerary for that, you know, what to do, what not to do. But the, one of the most important things, you have to decide what you, what you would really like to, to dance. And that's you know, the repertory. And then everything comes automatically, I believe. I want to mention one important thing. Um, you came to competition and all your teachers and very often in school, when you graduate, you learn solo. So you think you can dance solo or somebody can dance with better, somebody worse. But ballet directors want dancers who can dance everything. And very importantly, the court de ballet works. And oh, they want to do court de ballet. But that makes you stronger. I love being in court de ballet. I was the best to follow the line in front of me. So the line of the people have to stay behind so you're not seen. <laughs> it's not like that. It will be horrible ballet company when everybody's trying to look. My mom is there. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, you have to learn every. You have to be a character artist. You have to know how to be strong partners, uh, stay in line, whatever. It, needed in ballet company. So you have to be prepared for that. Very often it's uh, overseen, not, not enough seen by the teachers. And they prepare you for one solo, but one solo you can manage. It doesn't take you, it doesn't make you a strong dancer. You have to be multi, multi, strong, multi-talented to do different things. So look at the big picture, what the company is about. It's like one organism and you need to be flexible. If you need to stand out there, you, need to, you have to be open-minded. Not only want to be soldiers, but it's good that you want to be, uh, like soldier wants to be general, it's, it's great. But you have to be a soldier. Yeah? You have to be for the company, for what's needed. And that's very important, so you know that in school. Solo doesn't take you far, yeah? <laughs> Think like that. I would, I would like to join also that it's not been said, it's not the company you want to go. It's you have to know first what can you do, what kind of dancer are you, in which company do you belong? Because I see a lot of dancers, they want to go as first soloist of the Bavarian State Ballet, but they don't belong there. There are so many little companies in the world, and for me it's important when you go out of school that you have a contract somewhere, that you have a house, a base, where you can keep on doing every day your classes, where you can develop yourself, and starting also from a corner ballet, not just solos, and then maybe develop into something else. It's not you come out of school because you're the last year, you're the best in school, you did solos, that you come in a company. It starts from down again, you have to work yourself the way up. But first, you have to know what can you do, what kind of dancer are you, and then your audition. So you have to know when you go to a company, you have to know the repertoire, you have to sp maybe speak with the director, you have to know everything because if he asks questions, why do you want to come to me? And you don't sit there like, uh, I want a contract. No, because it's the repertoire. That's what is interesting for me. Or this is interesting, or that is, you have to know everything about that. And also in class, audition class, to show yourself. Not just, and because I see a lot of people, they go, they stand in class,
they do just the exercise they want and then they stand on the side and start talking. No, you have to do the whole class, show what you can do. Thank you. Does anybody else have a question? It's your opportunity. question or maybe you're just thinking about your next question maybe I just ask one uh, these days the, the, the positive side of things are sometimes uh, not so strong in school schools that's what I, I see around when I when I go around but if everybody wants to dance variations but the the, the, the duets and the positive work is maybe a little bit secondary somehow so I would like to ask you uh, how was it for you when you started your your dance career, uh, and when we started, of course, we are not so secure about the partnering, so I would ask the, the guys and also, of course, the ladies, uh, what suggestions you could give the, the students about working with another artist and about working together and how it's gonna show on stage, because maybe this was also something that we, we didn't always see. Yeah, I, I think it's very uh, important to see, you know, lately it's less uh, students than how it was before and on the, even less uh, gentlemen would like to do this profession. Of course, if we have less gentlemen, you know, we need two to tango, so uh, it's very difficult, you know, to do positives. Plus, it is very difficult to do it. it I would say it is much more uh, challenging, you know, when you go to competitions. It's not only a solo, you do the duet before and that uh, means uh, much longer preparation time before. And um, all those things somehow uh, brings us there, like we have less and less auditors. I mean, I'm very happy at least we put three auditors in this competition. And everybody can go alone because it's much easier to rehearse. I'm going there, you know, in the studio, I'm doing my variation, going home and okay, one day is out. But you know, uh, I believe, uh, to be a dancer, to be a classical ballet dancer, you need to, to do this side of it as well. When you get into the company and you have a very, how to say, um, let's put it that way, not really strong knowledge as for Padre de, of course that's a minus. That means you know, the director needs more time you know, to put you in wherever you know, the Padre de needs to, uh, to show. Then it's, it's difficult. So I believe that's an important part of the life, you know, of our life, you know, to learn it, to do it, to practice it. And the competition is a very good opportunity for that, to go on stage and, 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 and do it. And also, the trend, you know, the, 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 the way how we, we approach, you know, for Padre it has changed a lot, you know, the last, let's say, 15 years. I remember my time, my grandmother said all this, you know, all my time. But uh, I remember in the, in the dressing rooms we had the weights, we, we, we worked out quite a bit. To be strong, the time when we have the Padre class. And I could see many times, you know, somebody comes, you know, to risking the Padre to do and have a limited of power to do it. Of course, it is difficult to do. The, the lifts, the partnering, how you can put, you know, on point, you know, the ballerina and survive till the end of the product but that's condition condition and um, that's only that way you can have it if you practice it and of course if you know you find time for that you know in the gym or wherever you make yourself stronger I just wanted to add that there was a, a Mr. Solimoshi one of the best partners in the world oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Also about Padadu because it's another chance. First of all, Padadu is completely different. It's technical, also. You have to learn the basic, the technique, how to handle a woman. You're not the most important. You're behind the woman, the partner. You're there for her to help her. Sometimes not to hold her all the time on the legs, but help her. And then also um, there's different. There's a classical Padadu. There's a contemporary. It's completely different techniques, but. Also, some, I know many dancers, 
who have been more known as a partner, as a dancer yourself. So it's another chance in a company. If you're a good partner, they could <laughs> hire you also in a company, just as a partner, not as the soloist. Or there is many of the places in a company, and you shouldn't forget that also. And it's uh, of course for me, pas de deux. The basic is to have contact with your partner. There is the thing, you look in the eyes, you have the contact. You want to dance with someone, with a man or a woman, you look, you have the contact and that helps you a lot. Yes, uh, I, yes I join my colleagues of course who saying the, all the same things and uh, I'll add a few more things. Uh, uh, from the technical side, to so say the lady, it's has uh, the lady has to dance only to dance and think about herself, and uh, the, the, the gentleman don't have to dis distract her or only help. It's it's also called not holding a partner but supporting a partner. Uh, uh, rightly mentioned that uh, especially when you grow up, you, it's uh, in ballet school should be the strength classes for you. For, for we we have. Uh, had them to strengthen because you're not ready, maybe your spine is not ready, and everybody is individual. We have to be strong enough to to be able to lift. And you do put if your spine is ready, you put your, your friend on the shoulders, you do play yes, and we did all all sorts of different things, creative things to make you stronger. You have to be extra strong. And as we, we mentioned before also, when you're strong, you can enjoy your dance on stage also in your souls. And uh, uh, another thing I want to mention before, that the work extinguishes the work. So you don't see work. The more you work, the more stronger you are. You don't see the work. You see it suddenly dance. You feel free. But yes, from technical side like that, so the girls think about themselves. Boy can make girl look very good uh, by holding her, not disturbing her, but understanding the technique. There is a, this very fabulous book uh, by a famous uh, 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 partner teacher from Marinsk, he was Serebrenikov, and it was translated in English, and I, was, uh, I think it's available also on, probably on the internet, so check it out, it's all about ballet technique, it's not boy came and started to lift, it's actually there is a technique also to this, how to use plié, you lift you with your necks, you know, and how you hold ballerina, where, you know, but in that sense, but yes, as Jan said, it's all about actually being one. It's being duet, being on stage, not only looking, but feeling each other. The feeling the lines of girls move, and suddenly high arm, you lift high arm at the back, and you project. Even you're behind, it's, you still see. <laughs> uh, and uh, we want to see duet, two people <coughs> dancing together, not two souls. Very often you see, uh, two dancers on stage, but there's no duet happening. There's no emotional rapport between them. It's everybody, eh, look at me, and the girl would look at me. And, but there's no, even if the gentleman behind, you're still part of, you don't look on the waist when you're walking. You, you feel that you create an aura. You're constantly uh, in the role, constantly in the dance. You cannot, when you step on stage, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, thread, you take it on stage, and you only, it only finishes when you go off the stage, the thread. So it's never stopped. You cannot tell me, I'm lifting, now I'm dancing, now you don't show your emotions or anything. You're involved with your partner all the time. It's it's relationship. It's how you bring this energy. But for that, you have to be confident in yourself, in your technique, in your emotion. And to be confident, you need to be strong, as my colleague said. So. No pasarán. Ballerinas, I always thank the, to the guys uh, because they have to work the double. <laughs> For that, the ballerinas, you have to have such a respect, you have to be such a strong also to hold because if you are like uh, wobbly, 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 uh, you know, they can, uh, they go to ambulance, huh? <laughs> they, go, they end up in the hospital. 
and this, no, it's true. Uh, it's also for the ballerina. A lot of technique how to do for the, do, or, or the it's uh, how to stand, okay. They can be very nasty and they put you in the ugly position if you don't respect your partner. If it's uh, not only technique things, it's uh, the also person to person. You have to have such a, you have to know how to work with your partner. Means that you can, uh, today you work with the, the, the boy and then the next day, they, you have to have a person, per, your personality makes you dance. And everybody said, uh, Okay, the, you know, there's sometimes a very tricky, uh, we call the, the, the ballerina, ah, but, but put me here, but put me here. You're not gonna get better doing this. Uh, you have to <laughs> be very, uh, it's, a, it's a breathing, it's a timing, and if you're very good with the partnering from the guys, uh, they are strong and uh, they can be very asked for it. There's uh, also the special, uh, there's uh, the, the beautiful ballerina who is good for the partner, they are also asked for the certain repertoire better. <coughs> there is only, uh, the, you are a fantastic dancer, but you don't know how to be partnered. You are not gonna be asked also, but how they, they as a ballerina, not only as the boy is a strong actor, you have to also be always in shape. And you have to respect what they are doing also. You know, we don't need to lift the guys uh, and then do the, all the things. So you work with, with yourself and you have to have all this uh, the, the situation. Yeah. So then you will get, uh, the, I, what I'm saying, your career gets better <laughs> if you are respecting the, uh, the both of you and the bada do, bada do, whatever, all this. The, even in the gold ballet, you don't dance alone. You do dance, but you are dancing with the, it's a social life. So please, the ballerina, you, you, the, you have to be, uh, also boy, the boys, uh, you have to have a condition. You don't think that they hold you and that they lift you, and you have to know how to hold and to do this. Not only the guys are doing gymnastics, the, boy, the ballerina, you have to do gymnastic to hold your back, hold your, your stomach, hold your, and how to go on with them. So the, I'm sure the, uh, all the great teacher will tell you, then listen, and then work. And then in the, when you do badadu, beautiful badadu, it's a, yeah, I said, more than, it's a much more fun than doing solo sometimes, no? <laughs> It's a lot, but uh, there's so many things, and there's so many, but uh, it's beautiful. But you have to work on And being in shape, uh, really, always, uh, uh, I always be, I always really respected the boys, that uh, most of the boys, when they finish their career, it's, uh, they, they, they have a back pain, they have a knee pain, <laughs> and all that. And then to enjoy together, you have to really to be in shape always. That's also another work. But once you, it works, it's such a beautiful thing. So good luck and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judy, for your insight and that you shared your wisdom with us today. Uh, unfortunately, our time is up. Uh, we have to go on with the schedule. But congratulations again to you, uh, dancers, for competing for your performance and for pursuing your dream. And please, uh, hopefully we see you soon and we see you back uh, because next year we have the competition again and we are also holding um, summer intensive courses uh, at the university. <coughs> And uh, whoever is interested, of course, we would be happy to have you here as an all-year student. So enjoy your rest of the time in Budapest. It's a beautiful city. Maybe see some sights. And uh, thank you all for coming. And have a nice 
finals for the jury also today and thank you for joining us today. Can I, can I just say one more thing? That's, that's a very good thing also. You spoke about summer courses and stages and there are a lot of things and there you can learn also other what you usually learn. At home you hear, have other inputs and I think it's important for people to go out to see the world and do she is having fantastic workshops, he is us also, we also, so it's important. Also, everybody, has, but you have to go out, see, learn, yeah, that's just thank you. And That's the final word uh, before we go. So thanks uh, for being here. Thank you, Drew, for being here. Uh, guys, you are very welcome to watch the final tonight upstairs. So it starts at 4 o'clock and uh, everybody is welcome. For the jury, thank you very much for, for being here. And next year I will make sure that, uh, that we do it with all the participants because I wish everybody would hear all these things that you said and also the teachers. Thanks very much. Enjoy the round.